I would rather be ashes than dust. I would rather that my spark should burn out in a brilliant blaze than it should be stifled by dry rot. I would rather be a superb meteor, every atom of me in a magnificent glow, than a sleepy and permanent planet. The function of man is to live, not to exist. I shall not waste my days trying to prolong them. I shall use my time. That was the credo of the famous American author, Jack London, and we offer it to you, our classmates and our generation, as a challenge, because we are going to set the world on fire. We know what the world is saying about our generation, the so-called net generation. Things don't look good, says Mark Bowerlin in his book, The Dumbest Generation, How the Digital Age Stupefies Young Americans and Jeopardizes Our Future. Book reading is down, civic and historical knowledge is abysmal, we're actually seeing a clear decline in verbal skills. Reading and writing skills are down, and literacy in general has fallen at the high school level. Wait, here's a better one. The world is passing through troublous times. The young people of today think of nothing but themselves. They talk as if they know everything, and what passes with wisdom with us is foolishness with them. As for the girls, they are forward, immodest, and unladylike in speech, behavior, and dress. Who wrote that, and when do you think it was written? It's an extract from a sermon pe preached by Peter the Hermit in 1274 A.D. Or this, the children now love luxury. They have bad manners and contempt for authority. They are tyrants, not the servants of their household. They no longer rise when elders enter the room. They contradict their parents, gobble up dainties at the table, cross their legs, and tyrannize their teachers. But wait, that came from Book 4 of Plato's Republic back in 400 B.C. Do you sense a pattern here? Our generation is in the midst of a revolution in the way we think, work, learn, operate, and especially the way we communicate. We each averaged around 30 teachers during our time here at Cedar Valley High School. Yet, once we leave, we'll still have access to over 2 billion teachers, thanks to our cell phone and the internet, in every imaginable field. We don't need to store information in our gray matter as previous generations did. We have access to the same information at our fingertips each and every second of the day. What we do need is the imagination, creativity, and drive to use this information. In fact, our creativity is only limited by the web locker and the computers in the high school. Access denied! We communicate at speeds and over distances that previous generations could not fathom. Most of us don't wear wristwatches or use telephone books because these are single function tools. The computer keyboard layout was designed to be the slowest possible because early typewriters would jam. Why do we still use it when we can text faster than we can type on such an outmoded system? Isn't it painful to watch your parents text? <laughs> yeah. As Bob Dylan said now nearly 50 years ago, the times, they are a-changing. There is a new model of thinking which is just on the horizon. We won't learn the same as our parents, and neither will our children or our children's children. Just as the Gutenberg Press made book learning available to the masses and changed the world from an oral tradition to the literary one, today we are experiencing a similar phenomenon with technology, and it is exciting and dynamic, and we, the class of 2011, are the best prepared for it. So we won't listen to the harbingers of doom like Mike Bowerlin, Peter the Hermit, or even Socrates. We would rather heed the words of William Faulkner, who said, I decline to accept the end of man. I believe that man will not merely endure, he will prevail. He is immortal not because he alone among creatures has an inexhaustible voice, but because he has a soul, a spirit capable of compassion and sacrifice and endurance. We would like to leave you with an anthem to define our resolve to make a difference, nay, to set the world on fire. The La Man of La Mancha, The Impossible Dream. The story of Don Quixote, the errant knight who saw the world as better than it could be. To dream the impossible dream. Fight, Fight the unbeatable foe. To bear with unbearable sorrow. To run where the brave do not go. Fight the unrightable wrong. To love pure and chase from afar. To try when your arms are too weary To reach the unreachable star This my quest to follow that star No matter how hopeless, no matter how far To fight for the right without question or pause To be willing to march into hell for us
of courage.